Literal police were dispatched after an irate group of parents were confronted with a dreadful Willy Wonka themed event in Scotland that failed to meet their expectations. That was quite a lead. Now, <laughs> uh, no, really, they, they did call the cops because of how disappointing this event was. So the website for Willy's chocolate experience promised a world of pure imagination. An immersive children's event with attractions to rival even the creations of Willy Wonka himself. Which are fictional. Now here's a screenshot for their advertisement, right? That looks amazing. Now obviously that's a digitized image. That's not a real life image of what the venue looks like. Are you sure? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Now the Willy's chocolate experience promised a lot. They promised an enchanted garden with giant sweets, vibrant blooms, mysterious looking sculptures, and magical surprises. Mm -hmm. An imagination lab with mind expanding projections, mm -hmm. optical marvels, and exhibits that transport you into the realm of creativity. Mm. <laughs> Sounds real good, mm -hmm. but they're not done yet. Wait, there's more. And an exhilarating and immersive adventure in the twilight tunnel. <laughs> Which is, I, I feel like I'm always mm -hmm. in the twilight tunnel. Like I want out of the twilight tunnel. <laughs> okay, I, my mind went in a different direction. Anyway, plus, plus live performances. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Now it sounds. Too good to be true when you consider the price of admission, which is 45 bucks. That's not Ooh, cheap, but that's, that's not cheap. That, that's a lot to promise for $45. Parking, yeah. Yeah. So tipping Oompa Loompas, it adds up. It turns out it was too good to be true, much to the chagrin of these parents. Okay. So um, one man named Stuart Sinclair, who brought his daughter to the event, was um, not pleased. Willie's chocolate experience was a brisk walk through a barren event hall dotted with folding tables, the occasional candy themed prop and passageways covered in black tarps. Let's watch. All set up in one day. Supposed to be a bubble bowl. Machine. With all the food insurance, without anything like that, giving out free candies to young kids. No allergen information, none of that. AI generators. AI generators. Oh, it's so I'd call the cops too. <laughs> I'd tear it out in that situation. Oh I'd be God. like, what the? No, that's amazing. That's amazing. Now, obviously, that wasn't enough to immerse Sinclair's four year old daughter, uh, Nirvana, in uh, visions of Candy World. Mm -hmm. uh, she was given two jelly beans and half a cup of lemonade <laughs> before the family left. <laughs> <laughs> I two, feel like, two jelly beans. I feel wow. like the people behind this event were just, like they hate kids and they're just trying to troll yeah. them. Like, yeah, how, how you like that tarp with that image of Willy Wonka's factory on it, bitch? Like, yeah, I, you that, know, it just totally feels like a troll. But no, they just look. I don't know for sure, but I'm gonna speculate that they just wanted to make money with as little effort as possible. They're claiming that's wild speculation, Anna Kasparian. They have some. BS excuse, which we'll get to in just a okay, moment. Okay, I'd love to hear that. <laughs> but a few more details, which this is my favorite part, guys. This is my favorite part. The worst part is there was no chocolate. It's a chocolate experience <laughs> and there's no chocolate. It's so good. But that's cool, because when I think of Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, I think of two, two jelly, jelly beans. beans. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Okay. And um, it was so bad that uh, a college student hired to play Willy Wonka mm -hmm. just totally dropped the act and literally told people to request refunds and then gave this banger of a statement. Thank you for this, Michael. This is a place where dreams went to die. <laughs> Okay. He has a video up explaining how he got hired and how he initially started to suspect things might not be on the up and up. Definitely oh people God, should look it up. What a disaster. So, um, 
look, it's unclear exactly why people called the police. Like, it's not right to call the police on this. Like, it's no, but, I think it's right. Really? What are the it's cops going to do? I mean, are you not allowed to have any expect? Like, based on the ad, it doesn't do almost anything that it was advertised to do. Mm -hmm. Like, can you just have like an? They, they took some AI images, they printed it out on a thing. Like, you charge admission, then like they just walk in and it's an empty room. Like, yeah. there has to be some standards. There has to be some, like, some measure that allows for refunds. I'm not saying everybody deserves a refund in all cases, but no, no, refunds they, are a thing. They should absolutely get refunds. And if they're denied refunds, I don't know how it works in Scotland, but like, here in the US, you take someone to small claims court. I know mm -hmm. that sounds ridiculous. But I think refunds are a bare minimum. But when you realize that they literally didn't have any chocolate, jail time. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I'm not saying 10 years of jail time. I'm just saying you should see the inside of a jail cell, what happened? which will probably what? look better than your event did. Fella. And maybe have more chocolate. You know, what happened to TYT? Okay, what happened to the progressive bona fides here at TYT? Mm -hmm. Now it's all about law and order. It's all <laughs> about, oh, refund the police, uh -huh. right? Now, what, what happened to us, okay? Uh, and that Anna in particular, Have right? you watched and or read Willy Wonka? That is a moral tale about consequences for actions. And in particular, Augustus Gloop was punished viciously for his greed. Mm. I'm going to apply the lessons of Roald Dahl to the people who did that event. They should be punished. Okay. Either jail time or we dunk them in a river that looks like it's filled with diarrhea. And then they go shooting up a tube. Or maybe we fill them full of blueberry juice. I don't know And we roll our ass down at downtown. I don't know, I don't but there need to be consequences. John, you're, t you're tapping into my... Uh Tough on crime, you know. I'm a parent tendencies. now. If you, <laughs> apparently, I've read about it online. <laughs> uh, if you charge someone forty-five dollars a head, <laughs> and that's what you deliver, that is not acceptable. I went to the aquarium, mm -hmm. uh, the Long Beach Aquarium. I took my daughter for the first time. It was her first outing. It was very fun. I think it was like forty-five dollars a head. Yeah, it's expensive. And I saw penguins. I saw yeah, sharks. Guys, I saw a seal poop in the water, which I'd never seen before. It was wild. I definitely recommend it. Hmm. I saw a lot, and it was the same as that event. Unacceptable. You've never Jail seen time. poop in water as a man. You've never seen a seal poop. It is a wild ride. I'm just saying. It's not okay. like you're thinking. It's different. Did you go to the Aquarium of the Pacific? Yeah, that's oh, the one. I love that place. It's really. You've cool. been there? Of course. It's very I've cool. Gotten, yeah. Yeah. I have. There was uh, no chocolate though. I've been under the influence of certain. Um, Things and mm -hmm. uh, watch the jellyfish for hours. The jellyfish jellyfish are cool. is so cool. They are cool. Yeah. 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 Okay. The otters too. Enough about us. Let's get back to the story mm. uh, because, of course, the people behind this event, uh, House of Illuminati, the company that put on the event, um, has a now deleted Facebook post that uh, includes some excuses for why this uh, event was so barren, if you will. The company's director, Billy Cole, uh, told Scottish news channel STV News, so, so sorry to everybody for the sheer and utter disappointment. Okay. Okay, thank you for your apology. Please give me a refund and go F yourself. Uh, but he also said that there were issues with um, unforeseen circumstances. The company had ordered holographic paper that didn't arrive in time. But still no explanation for why this Willy Wonka themed event lacked chocolate like there's or even a handful of jelly beans or something like right. you take that image add some holographic paper whatever that is that's not good enough not good enough the room was so big and it was so empty i like how now that you're a parent you're you're like i'm out for blood i just imagine kids who love willy wonka showing yeah. up and feeling robbed oh my god there's nothing more heartbreaking than watching a child like go from being incredibly excited and joyful to just being disappointed and sad. Like mm -hmm. I totally agree with you on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. Plus, like let's keep it real. The parents paid $45 so their kid, their freaking kids will like be distracted with something else. That got cynical fast. It did, but it's true. <laughs> parents are tired. You know you're tired. I am tired. Yeah. And I do want my brat to be distracted for a while. See? Anyway. Told you.